Good morning guys, or good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you, whatever you're doing, if you're working, if you're going to school, if you're just having a nice relaxing day. I hope that you're feeling awesome, creating epic things, and manifesting some abundance into your life. So today I am touching on a sort of heavier topic than normal, but it has been asked by a few people, and it, it it's worth talking about, moving from feeling depressed to feeling dazzled by life once again. Um, so I'm gonna be giving you guys tips and advice for how I did it, how I moved through that, how I move through it now, and what I do to keep myself in a high vibration or what I do to move myself back into one when I start to not feel so fantastic. Um, again, this is something that is a little bit heavier than normal, but I think it is worth talking about because it is something that a lot of people are going through. So, when I first started my journey with the Law of Attraction, I was not as happy, positive uh, at all the way that I am now. So I was really depressed. I was mad at the world. I thought everything and everyone was against me. I didn't have a good thing to say about anyone or anything. And I didn't like myself. So I do you know where this is coming from? Like I get that whole, I get that feeling. I get that being in that dark place and wanting to, you know, create better things for yourself. So it is possible. Right before I went on my law of attraction journey and started improving my life, I was in a very deep depression for certain circumstances. And it was so bad that like I didn't get out of bed for days. And I was going through something and, and working through something and growing through something but it wasn't until I decided to make the conscious decision to start changing things that I started to feel better. So these are tips for when you feel ready to start making changes for yourself. And it's important that you actually feel ready because if you're just trying to move out of the depression or the, that sad feeling just for the just for the sake of doing it, it's not necessarily going to be as like you have to feel ready. You have to feel like you're ready to move forward and really ready to like commit to yourself and make these changes because you are the creator of your own reality. And I think if I didn't go through what I went through early on in my journey with all of this, I probably wouldn't, and, and like made the changes that I made, I probably wouldn't have made the, I wouldn't, this law of attraction probably wouldn't resonate with me as strongly as it does because I did make such big changes and I did make such conscious effort to make these changes. So here are some tips. Number one is do not be angry at yourself for feeling upset, for feeling depressed, for being sad. That is a huge one. Like we have emotions. It's important to feel them. Never get mad at yourself for feeling what you're feeling. And if you are in that place where you are very, very sad and you are not getting out of bed and you don't know what to do, don't be mad at yourself for feeling upset because that just creates this momentum of being angry at yourself for being sad is just going to like amplify that. So never beat yourself up about being upset, being sad, being depressed. It's, it's okay. Um, it's okay if you've been there for years. It's okay if you've been there for a couple days. It's okay if you're just feeling it for a few hours, if you're in a funk. It happens and it's okay. Good morning, George. Um, so that's number one, which kind of brings me to number two is don't let the law of attraction and the you create your own reality and what you think and what you feel and blah, blah, blah. Don't let that scare you into feeling like you're not allowed to feel what you're feeling. Now that's a big one because when I started with all of this and I started making the conscious changes, one of the things that I would do when I started to get upset is get really scared that I was creating a terrible life for myself and that's not true. You can fix anything and once you start working towards positive momentum, the changes happen pretty fast and um, they're really positive changes, they're really awesome changes so don't let, don't let this law of attraction scare you into feeling like you're not allowed to be upset or depressed because you are. You're allowed to feel what you feel. We're only human. We're going to have different feelings all the time and we're going to grow and everything in the process. Um, everything is fixable. You can't mess this life up. I promise. And for someone who was going through this for years, you can fix things 
you know, it doesn't take that long once you make the decision that you want to try and commit to yourself and feel better and take the steps in order to get there. Number three is cultivate a feel good habit, feel good, feel good habit that you can do every single day on your own. It can be going to the gym. It can be meditating. It can be dancing in your room. So find something that only makes you feel good that you can do every single day. And that way you'll have something to look forward to and something that is going to make you feel good. And when you do that, when, and you have something to look forward to, something to focus on, you start to develop a, all right, I can, I have this, I have this good thing in my life. It's, it's an anchor of positivity. Like that is important. Um, I know for me, one of the things that I would do is I made sure that I dressed in a way that made me feel as comfortable and as good as I could. And I would make sure that I was eating food that I, that just made me like excited. Like I'd make sure that I'd pack lunches that like made me feel really, really good. Like I was planting things throughout my day to look forward to, to make sure that I could feel really good and it did help. So cultivate that feel good habit that you can do daily. Right now for me, my feel good habit is going to the gym after work every day. I love doing it, I love exercising, I love the endorphins, so that's a big one for me. Um, so do what works for you. Number four is make a playlist of only really positive, uplifting, feel good songs and listen to it as often as you can. This is one of the first things I did when I started getting into Law of Attraction because I realized that the music that I was listening to was really whiny and very like, I need you, I want you, I don't have you, and it just, it brings you down. Like, music words, they have a frequency, they have an energy, and when you start to, um, listen to music that feels really good and makes you feel really awesome, it does make a difference. Like I have a playlist of like, I think it's nine hours of songs that are like just feel good songs and like find like one or two that make you feel awesome so you can put them on when you are feeling not necessarily very good and it'll help you move out of that funk. Like for me, Raspberry Beret by Prince is like, that's my favorite one regardless of how I'm feeling. If I put that song on, like I get pumped up. So listening to music is powerful. Make sure you're listening to music that makes you feel really, really good. Um, so that's number four. Number five is don't be afraid to ask for help from people and don't be afraid to let the people in your circle in and let them uplift you. So this is something again, like I shut everyone out when I wasn't feeling good when I wasn't feeling myself when I was very, very depressed, when I was like mad at the world. And it wasn't until I realized that people do care about me and that people want to help me and like people want to see you happy and smile and thrive. So don't be afraid to let the people who are close to you in your life in and don't be afraid to let them know what's going on and let them help uplift you. The people in your life probably know more about you than you think, and they might know some really awesome ways to help you feel good. Um, I know like for me, my little sister knows when I'm not feeling good like in an instant and she can make me laugh, and she will. And it's awesome because like, I don't get into deep depressions anymore, but if I'm in a funk, like she will, like she just knows. Maybe it's like a sister thing, I have no idea. And she knows how to like make me like smile and laugh immediately. I'm very grateful for that. Which brings me to number six. That was an accident. Number six is gratitude. If you can cultivate a habit of gratitude for every single day and make a list of just 10 things that you are grateful for, they can be big things, they can be small things, they can be as simple as, I'm really grateful for the tea I had this morning. I'm really grateful for the amazing sunset that I got to see. Um, or you can say, I am so grateful for this amazing relationship I have in my life, but do it for things that you actually have. When you do this, when you start to, this is one that really shifted things for me. When I started to look for things to be thankful for, more things that I could be thankful for started coming into my life because I became a magnet to it. Um, I should do gratitude even more than I do now because it, I kind of like lessened how I was doing it, but gratitude was a huge thing that shifted my mood and shifted my life and really helped me move out of that depressed state and into feeling like this is my life. I can do what I want. There are amazing things. And it reminds you to like focus on the good. Um, so number seven is I have a game that I have played and it works so well. And it's the, I love the blank 
game. So you list the things you love and it's like a rampage of appreciation. But so if I were to play it right now, I would say I literally love the amazing sunrise that I am seeing before me. It is brilliant. It's beautiful. I love all of the plants around me. I, I just love being around like nature and I love that there are so many plants up here that I can like see and admire and they're just they're beautiful and I love it and I love that I get to talk to you guys today and I love that this group and all of the people here and anyone who this message gets to um, is watching it and we can help uplift each other and that's really awesome so you can do this by yourself or you can do this with another person do it out loud though. Like say your like appreciation for things out loud and really get into like loving the thing that you are um, appreciating. And I did this once with someone who I was driving in the car with and she was not happy. And like, I could tell that her momentum was just going like down and down and down and down and down. And I was like, this is not, this is not going to be a good, um, this isn't going to be a good day if we, if we do this, like, this is not going to be a good situation if we do this. So instead I just started and I didn't like say anything except I just started being like, you know, I love that sign right there. Like, that's so cool. And I love that building over there. Like it's so, it's so rustic looking. It's, it's, it's huge. Like, I don't know. And I was just listing all these like ridiculous things that I actually loved in that moment. And she started doing it too. So by the time we got to where we were going, we both felt really, really awesome. And we changed the momentum of what was happening. So if you find yourself starting to get back into that like negative spiral, that is a really good one to help shift things super quick. Sorry guys, I snapped and the camera went, but that's okay my phone went. Anyway, so that was number um, seven. So that's a really good quick shift is play the I love blank game. Um, seriously, like if you guys want to do it, like I will do it with anybody who wants to because it's awesome. Um, number eight is remember that bad moments do not make you unworthy. Being depressed does not make you an unworthy person. Being sad does not mean you are not worth happiness, not worth love, not worth feeling as good as you possibly can. So get yourself into feeling not, um, don't let that negative emotion overtake you. And again, this is like not beating yourself up over feeling, um, over feeling bad. Like if you feel bad, it's okay, but it doesn't last forever and it doesn't have to. Um, so that's number eight. Number nine is to have believable affirmations that you can tell yourself. Um, one of the ones I really, really like right now is what is meant for me will not pass me by. So that's really, really important when it comes to um, moving into a feel good place. You wanna do affirmations that make you feel and make like that seem logical to you, that are believable. So like if you aren't feeling worthy of love, maybe I'm worthy of love is not one for you, but you could do one instead that is there is love all around me because there is, that is a fact. That is something that you all should know and it's everywhere. And when you start to acknowledge that there is love all around you, then you'll start to see how it is affecting you and how you are being loved by everyone and how you are worthy of love. So it does take a little bit of um, shifting and paying attention to how you're feeling, but moving from a depressed state to feeling in love with your life is possible. Again, like I did it. It might be a slow process at first. It's very, very hard to go from feeling depressed to feeling dazzled by life. So when you start moving, when you start like on this journey, when you start to go from depressed or sad, don't be don't beat yourself up if you're not feeling like up here from being down here because it's super, super hard to make that jump. It's almost impossible. So let yourself feel depressed to feeling like, all right, a, a little mediocre, to feeling content, to feeling a little more than content, to feeling happy, to feeling excited, to feeling dazzled by life. Like let yourself take the steps. But hopefully these nine tips and um, advice helped you guys, helps anyone going through anything. Remember, don't be afraid to reach out. Don't beat yourself up for being sad. It's okay, you can fix things. Everything is going to be okay. Um, so that is why I wanted to share this today because it has been asked a couple times. Sorry about the, the phone dropping. Sorry about the people walking in the background, the phone ringing. It's kind of loud in here today, but I hope this video has helped you. I hope that it inspires you. Um, if it does, let me know. Um, if you have any topics you want me to cover in videos, 
please let me know. Good morning to everyone who has said good morning on this. Um, and I hope that you all have an amazing day. And yes, seriously though, if you have any other topics you want me to cover, please tell me because you guys give me the best ideas. Um, that's where this idea came from. And yeah, remember that being depressed, it doesn't have to be a forever thing. It doesn't make you unworthy of what you want and you can move out of it. I did and it's possible and if you go back into that like negative spiral, you can fix that. It's all fixable. You can move back into feeling good and I hope you all do. I love you guys and I hope you all have an amazing day. Love and light.